Pacquiao again with that right hook, right uppercut combination. Tremendous work with the right hand. The early evidence on Pacquiao moving up to lightweight. See, maybe he's finally found a weight class where he can be really good. How many more? Down he goes and drops him. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Try to make a statement here. Emmanuel Stewart, if I were David Diaz, I would with the punches that are aimed at asking how well Pacquiao has trained. And already Pacquiao shows the speed advantage that makes him so special. But I look like Pacquiao sees the tight defense of Diaz. He was coming up and on the top, but he's trying to find a way to... With another attempt at body shot. Diaz is doing a pretty good job defensive, but he can't do too much offensive simply because he's not fast enough yet. Until Pacquiao slows down, it's going to be hard for him to do anything. I'll carry the spit bucket. Strickland has said, if David could beat Manny Pacquiao, I might retire. Diaz says, no way. I'm not going to let him. And you heard Freddie Roach very pleased with the way his fighter fought round one. Copy box numbers, Pacquiao 19 out of 91. Diaz only nine out of 91. And on the chin again, this one a more glancing blow. Pacquiao with a big left hand lead over the top. And another uppercut. But he has not been landing. Those punches are not landing. Diaz is catching the punches for the most part. Uh, Diaz normally works in most fights as a cut man, so he'll get a chance to practice on his own fight at the end of this round. Is he a good one, Emmanuel? He's a good cut man. You see Pacquiao through something that's very unusual, beautiful combination. The right uppercut being followed by left, up, right uppercut up between the gloves. That may go to possibly. You've done cuts, Emmanuel. Tell us about the difficulty of a cut right on the bridge of the nose. Bridge of the nose is very difficult. It does, it's not serious. It doesn't bleed too much. You know, you get adrenaline chloride and thrombin and the regular stuff. With you to get it to coagulate, it doesn't bleed too much. Even though there was no knockdown, Harold Letterman scored the second round. A 10-8 round for Pacquiao, and he's taking these punches pretty well. Well, it's going to be put to the test tonight, but Pacquiao's hit me with punches. I mean, it, it, it consistently. Uh, with both hands, okay, David's speed is just too low right now. What David needs to do is to go plant it into his body. Just missed with what would have been a big left hand connect in Pacquiao. Two body shots from Diaz, and a third one as the round comes to a close. You see right here, you see Pacquiao throwing his right hook, something that he can't normally do when he's fighting the stand-up right hand fighter, and he seems to love it. That's been his pet punch so far the rest most of the fight. Roshi was given the instruction looking at the replay in the arena. <laughs> admiring his work. Yeah. Brings a whole new meaning to the old boxing <laughs> phrase, admiring your work. You know, normally as a fighter, Pacquiao is known for that powerful straight left. You know, jab, jab with his right hand, a hard straight left. And he's changing up. He's this was one of the possibilities. And because of his blinding speed and major advantages, when at distance, Pacquiao would be able to cut Diaz up. Hands, but he just can't deal with all the twisting and pivoting that Diaz, I mean, that Pacquiao's putting into the fight also. Diaz's left eye is beginning to swell. Here we see what possibly could have been the cause of the uh, butt, which was a head butt right there. Well, that created the big cut over the right eye. But it's a moot point whether the cut is created by a butt or a punch at this point because of the violent onslaughts that Pacquiao is now more power punches thrown per round. There's no way you're going to beat him if he's getting off that many shots. It is a brilliant and stunningly effective performance by Pacquiao so far. And Diaz is getting seriously behind because, you know, being that he's not a devastating one punch knockout. Amazing. with hooks, crosses, and uppercuts. Pacquiao more or less dispensing with the jab because he doesn't really... Pacquiao 
27 out of 56. Emmanuel Stewart, the layman, not all that familiar with boxing, would look at Diaz's face and say, how can he be allowed to continue under these circumstances? Yeah, because he is a world champion, and they do stop it between rounds, but I'm a little bit kind of disappointed. I thought that uh, it would have coagulated a lot better than it has. They trade jabs to the center of the ring. Again, the dramatic hand speed advantage for Pacquiao, quite visible. All completely shut. But one eye is swelling and the other one is bleeding, and they haven't seemingly stopped the, the flow of blood. And as soon as the bell rings, it's, it starts bleeding right away again. And it's a big factor in this fight. Pacquiao throwing punches in such a volume, and they're all coming from different angles. He's mixing up, and that's why it's so hard for Diaz to stop the punches because he's not just doing one punch or two. It's just the speed and the variety of punches is just too much for him. By Diaz, whoa, I can handle his punches. He's just too fast. That's the story of what's happened so far. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? That makes it six to nothing, 60 to 53, Manny Pacquiao. Maybe I'm being a little bit more generous than I should be. I think there's a lot more 10 8 rounds mixed in there somewhere. But there's a major victory. It'll go to the scorecards, it'll win. He can't win it on a TKO. That's correct. Whichever way it goes, he's going to win this fight unless they end up with another disqualification. Once he says, well, even in class, he spends more time signing autographs than he does doing homework or so studying. The teachers, <laughs> like the students, scream and, and shout when he comes into the room and has to have The way for a slower fighter to deal with speed is to try to interrupt the action and make the faster fighter fight when he doesn't want to. There hasn't been a moment in this fight when Manny Pacquiao didn't want to assault David Diaz. So it's very difficult for Diaz to find any moment at which to make a statement. So the referee's gonna have to stop the fight. Diaz gets in a good left uppercut of his own. Fires a straight jab, comes forward to make clear, I'm still a fighter, I'm not gonna go away. But at this point, you worry about how badly is he brave for his own good. You knew it tonight. Yeah, I think the quarter should stop the fight. It'd be a graceful way to end it, but it gets over for all practice. on David Diaz his punch output has been dropping 65 punches thrown in the fifth 57 in the sixth 50 in the seventh only 38 in the eighth surely a serious consideration must now be given to stopping the fight in the ninth if things continue the way they've been certain level he got a lot of publicity before the fight saying I'm driving a 1991 Honda with no air conditioning he's gonna get a chance to buy a new car well, he might end up with a million dollars for these fights, so, which is a good paycheck. And How many more? Down he goes, and Dracula stops the fight. He should have never got to that. Welcome to the lightweight division.